Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Support videos. I am Rajan from Informatica Support and in this session we'll be discussing about creating a data process. So this is the agenda that we have for today. Uh, we'll be discussing a bit about the data processor, then we'll be creating a blank data processor, we'll be creating a parser serializer or a streamer. I'll show you a demo on that. So the Informatica developer client is used to create a data processor. Data processor has three components parser, serializer, and a streamer. The parser is used to create any source file format, say a word, document, or text PDF into a XML. The parser always produces a XML output. A serializer uses XML or JSON as input file format, and the output file format for the serializer can be any, be it a text, HTML, word, or any other. At times when uh, there are large documents which are to be processed, a serializer or a parser may have issues. In such cases, a streamer is used, which generally splits the large document into smaller portions, and these smaller portions can then be processed via the parser or a serializer. Now we'll move on to a small demo where I'll create a data processor and show you a small demo. So this is the developer client where the model repository service is already configured I am I am connected to the repository. The first and foremost thing will be to create a project. To create a project, we'll go to File, New, and Create a Project. I'll give a name as Demo. Click on Next. Uh, you can set the permission for the particular project. Click on Finish to create the project. The project is a top-level container which is used to store folders and objects, which is used to organize and manage the objects. Now let's move on to create a data processor. Data processor can be created again by going to File and New, but there is another way, which is right-click on the project, create a transformation, and then select the data processor, give a name to it. If you want to create a data processor using a wizard using an input file or want to create a data processor for a out specific output file format, you can select the second option. We'll, going, we'll be going ahead with the set first option here to create a blank data processor. So this is the blank data processor that has been created right now. Now let's move on to see how we can create a specific project. To do that, we'll be first creating an object, which will be a script. To create an object, go to the Objects tab, click here and create a script. You can give a name to your script and click on Next. Here, you will need to select a specific object. Select the Parser option to create a parser, Serializer to create a serializer, or the other. other will just create a blank script which can be used to create a parser, serializer or a streamer. There is no specific option for streamer. You will have to go with the other option and create a streamer. Let me first go with the other and show you how the script looks like. Click on next. If you already have a schema object created in the repository, you can browse and select the schema. If you do not already have a schema object, you can create a new schema object. I'll select on browse. I already have a few schema. I'll select the schema and click on finish. So this is the blank script that has been created, which can be used to create any parser, serializer or a streamer. Now let me save this script and create another script and show you how the parser can be created. We'll go back to objects, create a new script. I'll name that as parser script. Hit next. Select the parser. Name of the parser. I, I can provide the name of the parser. I'll select this as my startup component. The startup component is basically used to run this particular script as when you run the as and when you run the particular data process. Click on next. I'll select the schema object, which has I already have. I'll select a different schema object this time. 
Here you can select an example source. If you have an example source in a file, you can select the file and you can browse the specific file. Otherwise, you can select the text option and just copy over the contents of the file or the data that you want to parse or serialize. I do not want to do anything, so I'll go with none. Click on finish. You can see this is the parser project that has been created. So that was all about the demo. You can go through the Informatica guide and the developer guide for more information on the data processor, how to create and the usage. You can share your reactions and feedbacks by writing to support videos at informatica.com or tweeters at InfoSupport. We would love to hear from you. Thank you.